In the previous video, we discussed some of the key points of this lecture series and in this specific video, I will explain the concept of gene by taking the example of human eye color. Before we start, I have a quick request to make. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, then please do subscribe to the channel and show your support. With that note, let's start the presentation. Let's start with the first slide that is the concept of gene. Here I have designed this, this diagram where you have this central green block and peripheral blue blocks, right? And that central green block is basically representing the coding region, coding region, and that particular region is responsible for the expression of this particular structure. And in this case, this is RNA molecule. I'm going to write mRNA molecule, which is messenger RNA molecule. Further, this RNA molecule is going to construct or provide the information to construct a unique polypeptide molecule and I can write here the protein molecule, right? So this protein molecule is further going to perform a specific function that is going to express a particular phenotype or a trait in the progeny. So this is the basic central dogma of molecular biology. And when we discuss a particular concept like uh, human eye color, it's not that simple. There are multiple proteins that are working together and they are associated together to express a specific color. So after understanding the concept of gene, let's understand the concept of human eye color. All right, so now we are on our second slide where you can see I have written a word known as phenotype. Phenotype is the visible character of a specific individual. It can be, uh, you can say in the plant, you can say it's the height of the plant. In this particular example is the color of the iris here. So basically the pigmentation in the iris is responsible for the different colors. Basic colors are light blue, green color and brown and then you have different, different shades of these colors. So in the previous slide we discussed that we have this amino acid, a chain of amino acid that is generated from the messenger RNA molecule. Further it's going to fold in a proper manner to form a functional protein. So it's going to fold in a unique manner to form a functional final product. And this product is going to perform certain function and is going to responsible for different eye colors. As you can see here, light blue and then you have green and brown. Now, in case of human eye color, there are multiple proteins that are associated and the detailed mechanism is still not clear. But it is known that OCA2 and HERC2, these are uh, two important genes that are associated with human eye color. Now, I'm going to show you what are the different functions associated with these two genes. So, let's jump on to the next slide. In this video, we learned the concept of gene and the concept of human eye color. We have also found out that there are multiple proteins that are involved in the human eye color expression. In the next video, we will discuss the genes in more detail and I'll explain the molecular mechanism associated with OCA2 and HERC2 gene. If you like the video, then please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Thank you and take care.